Hey guys, Katie Reynolds here, Senior Executive Sales Leader. I'm doing this video in my bathroom because I happen to have some of the better lighting in here and it's always nice to have better lighting when you're doing videos, right? I'm gonna be talking to you guys a little bit about um, customer care and I do f sound a little stuffed up because I'm getting over a cold. Um, but customer care is one of those things that I think sometimes we forget about. It's not something that I literally did in my business for probably the first five years of my business um, and just didn't realize like the importance of it, um, really maybe didn't even know what to do and that kind of thing. So I'm just going to tell you what I do. So one of the main things I do is when I get a new customer, I now put them in my project broadcast campaign um, and they send, I have like four different, I think it's four, might be five, I'd have to look. Um, different times that I contact them and you will get people like I actually just had someone message me um, it was a lead web order and um, I had somebody message me yesterday because I added them to my or this morning when I added them to my campaign that said can you please remove me from your list um, they didn't want to receive any more communication from me or whatever they had just bought a um, set of dryer balls for their mom for Christmas you're gonna get that and that's okay I was like you know bless and you know let go I just said, you know, totally have a blessed day and let it go. So you're going to have those customers, of course, but you're going to also have customers that if they don't receive something from you, um, they won't order from you again. Like there's customers out there and I didn't realize this because I'm not one of those. Like I'm one of those customers that if I buy from somebody, I have their information and I don't need continual text or whatever from them thanking me or asking me how I'm doing or whatever. If I need something, I'll order. Um, and so because that's not something that's important to me, it's something that I left out of my business um, for too long because you have to realize that not everybody is like you, right? And so now I put them on a project broadcast thing that after a day says, thank you so much. And it's a picture of me and my family that says, thank you so much for supporting my business. Um, and I give them all my information about joining my VIP page and how to find me on Instagram and that kind of thing. And then if they have any questions, and then I think it's two weeks later, they get a message asking if they receive their package on time um, or if they receive their package and um, if they had any questions or anything about that. And then the third one is two months later, I think it is. Um, I think it's like 2226 is what the thing is. Um, and that one is asking if they'd like to host a party and it just continue like, how are you doing? Um, I'm here if you have any questions, whatever, that kind of stuff. And then six months just pretty much saying, you know, just checking in with you, whatever. So that's one thing that I do. The other thing that I like to do, because I feel like it's a lost art of getting anything in the mail and especially like a handwritten note, everything is text these days and I don't want it to just be like, oh yeah, I'm sending out these text messages to you, um, but I'm not doing anything personal. So I always send them out a catalog, whichever catalog is um, out there like the most recent one, not the mini catalogs. I don't really order those too much, but I always send them one of our main catalogs like this. And I put two stickers. These are address labels that I just print off my home computer. One of them says 10% off your next purchase. Contact me to order. And that's a personal discount. I let them know that. Sometimes people message me and when I tell them it's a personal discount, they're like, oh no, I'm not like, I don't want to take your money. You work too hard or whatever. And then they decide not to use it. Many people will use it and then other people will just order from you again and not even really pay attention to this or not care to use the 10% off. Um, but it's theirs for the, there for those that it matters. And then I also have a thing on here that tells them how to join my VIP group, um, it just says for sales and giveaways, because if that's important to them, then I want them in that group um, so that they get that. And then also on the back here, I put underneath this box here, I put my information um, that tells them my Instagram, my phone, my cell phone number. Um, I don't put my address on there. They don't really need to know where I live, um, but my address will be on anyway. When I send these out, it's on the return label. So they do have it in case they need it. Um, and my, my website there. This area here, I actually write them a handwritten note. I say, hi, Patty, or what is it? I'll just start with like Patty. Thank you so much for your order. I so appreciate it. Here's a catalog and a travel and borrow cloth from me. Let me know if you have any questions um, or if there's anything I can help you with. And then I sign it. And then I put these in and they cost me right now, they cost me about $3.12 to send each one of them. I do open this up and I put it right in the middle there and I'll put my business card in here. And cause who doesn't like free gifts? And if they order, say they order travel and viral cloths, I'll usually send a travel body cloth. I do pay attention to not everybody gets a travel and viral cloth cause I want them to have something that maybe they haven't tried yet. Or if they've even ordered an Enviro cloth, they still get a travel one because I think everybody needs a travel one to hook on your purse or have with you in the, um, 
during the day to wipe off all your surfaces. So that's what I do for customer care. You can choose, of course, to do whatever fits your lifestyle for your timing and all of that. I have to say, sometimes I've spent a lot of time putting catalogs out, but I do think it's worth it for them. And I've had different feedback going, that actually got me like, that That impressed me that I received a catalog and you had, ha had a handwritten note on the back that you took the time. And I think just customers need to feel um, like you really do, like I want all my customers to feel like I really do like cherish your business. Like that is a gift to me. Thank you so much. Like I want them to feel the thanks um, for supporting me in this. Um, and I want them to feel, you know, just feel that loved and cared about. So that's what I do for customer care. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. I would say have a blessed day um, and bless others.